Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Alex, and we are back with another reaction video. And today, we are doing another reaction video to Animat. Yeah, you already know who Animat is. Actually, I think I haven't really done an Animat video since I did a reaction to his top 10 Looney Tunes, like, worst Looney Tunes characters list. Yeah, and I think this technically may be my second one. I know I used to react to him a little bit more on my old channel, but that was when I didn't have, like, the right, like best equipment to start like reacting to videos but now i do and i'm trying my best to get better and better with it so um not really much of a special intro for this because we're taking a look at a movie that i've already like watched someone review i don't know if this is going to be like a longer review of the movie or whatnot but we'll see what happens but anyway today we are taking a look at animat's review of pokemon detective pikachu so yeah, like I said, no special intro. We're just going to jump straight into the video. So let's dive right in. Oh, wow. Well, this is definitely an interesting way to start off this video. I kind of want to do wonder where he got that hat, though. It's cute. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I love that all the badges are, like, surrounding the bottom part of it. I, mean, I don't know which region of badges they are. They might be Kanto or Johto. You know what, you guys let me know in the comment section down below which region they are from, like, the original Pokemon anime, or even the games, basically. Because, again, the, the anime is based on the games. Anyway, we're not going to focus on that, we're going to jump straight in. So, without further ado, let's dive right into Animat's review of Detective Pikachu. So, starting the video in 3, 2, 1, and let's go. I tried to make sure to be real quick when I was trying to do that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm still kind of getting over, like, a sore throat from streaming uh, yesterday. Because I tried streaming two different days while it was raining. And uh, that did not go too well. That sadly went bad. Anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, get this started while I'm ranting about a stream yesterday. Did I ever tell you guys that I love Pokemon? Actually, well, I mean, what? it's pretty I obvious from have. all the memorabilia <laughs> and collectibles he got a back there. So to say the you're a Pokemon, Pokemon fan. Movie. You know, the one that is actually based on oh, the gosh. anime, uh, starring music and all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, oh, in case fun. you guys might have forgotten that, or in case you don't know about my lifelong devotion to Pokemon, here's a little recap. I remember back when I was a kid, I was a major Pokemon fan. I actually don't remember fan. him well, doing a review on the first Pokemon now, movie. I'm still playing the games, but, but I don't know, maybe that will be one I can check out at some point. I was obsessed with anything Pokemon. I collected the original 151 cards, I collected the little figurines, my Game Boys... Oh yeah, they did have a lot of like little mini figures of system. like Pokemon characters. I would characters. check out the movies whenever they're in theaters, and I would always catch the anime whenever it was on TV. Which yeah, sadly I only ever came on Saturday mornings on uh, Kids me, WB. I could actually be much more than just an animation guy, but still the same geek as before. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, I think it is safe to say that I am actually really excited for Detective Pikachu. Okay, I wasn't always anticipated for it. I would be lying if I said that I never had any doubts about it. I mean, we're talking about a live-action Pokemon movie oh, from a major see. Hollywood studio. Consider Can no one understand him? With films based on video games, the word infamous would be the best way to describe it. Well, surprisingly, in, fact, in more recent years, we've like... had, like, better video uh, game adaptations. Meow. We've had the Mortal Kombat meow. movie from 1995. That, not and the really fact much that it's sequel. not actually based on Sonic any of the main recently, role-playing games, and it's successful the sequel. anime starring Ash And now recently, the, the Mario movie the from Illumination. That features a talking Pikachu solving mysteries. I mean, with all the characters we grew up with and the type of stories they I think at this delivered, point there were this fans the of, like, this Pokemon game also, just more or less but they were excited for a Detective Pikachu came movie out than and it the avid Pokemon fans. Everything. Welcome to Rhyme City. It, it, honestly, when this first trailer dropped and then they revealed the post what the Pokemon were gonna look like in this movie, it actually looks really. It, I was actually I was I mean, like I could very tell very the hyped. Pokemon look good. The acting seems like it could hold some weight and has a story. I like to know more of what's going on. Regardless of how the movie itself is, I could say that it really is an effective trailer. And since then, it got me hooked to want to check this out. 
Already, it seems like this movie is actually in the right step to do what most, if not all, big budgeted movies based on video games fail to do. Actually be good. Not just for the fans, but for non-fans as well to come in and actually really appreciate what it's trying to do, like to stand well on its own as its own movie. But now that this film is out of its Pokeball, is that actually the case? Well, we might as well try to be like a little Pikachu right over here, and we gotta be detectives ourselves to go and find out. And the clues seem to point to that if you guys are there to go and uh, check out some live action Pokemon, you are gonna get some live action Pokemon. Might as well start off with the best aspect of the feature. Say what you will about the movie, but the visual effects oh, yeah. here the are amazing. The visuals for this movie and it's were all just thanks to the amazing. In a way, like the film even managed like to do the visuals for the background, like when it wasn't showing the characters, and adapt them in a it was like a gorgeous with looking realistic movie. textures and movements, yet still retaining their original design from the games and the anime. I was kind of worried the about this because they, the, the creators of the movie said love, that like they wanted to do like a photo for realistic this like look to Pokemon. Part in making its but looking back at it, as well, a lot of the Pokemon designs in this are really really good. The relationship between humans and Pokemon. Some regions view them like wild animals where there is a distinct like, separation like between the people and the creatures, is. while others like Rhyme City treats everyone like equals and Pokemon can help out on specific jobs and act more like the trainer's buddy. Look, you can talk to humans, I can talk to Pokemon. And if you want to find your pops, oh, we're going to need to know. I don't need I a forgot about Lick what Tongue about and his giant detective? tongue. As for the individual Pokemon themselves, they actually play a big role in making the movie enjoyable to watch. As Even if it's for like fan, a short I cameo, do they do like play a big part in a lot of scenes Pokemon in this are more movie. Featured here, they do include a whole bunch from the later generations as well in order to diversify the environment and also finding and recognizing them to feel rewarding. In a way, it's a lot like Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Ready Player One, where part of the fun is to look out for all the different cameos and appearances, as well as numerous of references to the games and the anime. For Pokemon fans, it does have some rewatchability value for the large amount of Easter eggs, and there's always a good chance you'll find something new when you'll watch it again. I forgot Charizard almost ate Pikachu. However, just in case, it's probably best to not put your hopes too yeah, high. Yeah, that probably was one of the saddest parts about want this movie that have its moment specific in the Pokemon that do sure, show up, the popular they never show up again for this Gen movie. 1, like Bulbasaur, Psyduck, Mr. Mime, and Mewtwo are prominently featured, on top of a few from the later generations like Snubble. Oh, yeah, I forgot that they actually had Ninja, ones from the later gens. But the rest only have short cameos that appeared as much as they did during the trailers. But then you have Pan the Chip star is just so Pokemon, adorable in this movie, and one who I have to admit, Jigglypuff is, is adorable title, in this movie Pikachu. too. With that little top As of he her is hair. By Ryan Reynolds, he is exactly what you'd expect him to be: Ryan Reynolds in a Pikachu body. And yet, <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest thing. The only reason my mom—I mentioned this in the last time I watched someone review this. The only reason my mom wanted to go see this with me was because Ryan Reynolds was voicing Pichu in this. That was the only reason she would go. She would have loved it even more if Chris Hemsworth was voicing Pikachu. But still, character and the still. best actor of the film. There is a good contrast of the snarky Maybe attitude Ryan Reynolds with the was a good choice for Pikachu in this Reynolds because Deadpool his Deadpool-like humor, like humor, which isn't like single-handedly gave the film some strong you know, like comedy. very controversial, but you get it. I paused it on a good face right here, Pikachu. He's just like, mm, I'm old man Pikachu. <laughs> Something like that. I, I don't even know. But yeah, Ryan Reynolds' comedy in this movie made it for uh, the character Pikachu. He didn't go too dark like he usually does in Deadpool in the Deadpool movies, but still, his comedy was just so funny. Again, you got to make it real fun and like, you know, uh, not too like risque for the kids. Because technically this is a kid's movie, though there is death in it, so not so much. I... Anyway. So let me get this right. We're forced to listen to this spa music so your head doesn't explode and kill us all. Slumber! I have the Pokemon movie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Succeeded on the Pokemon aspect to really make it enjoyable for everyone. 
for major fans. Sorry about that. I had to uh, deal with a message real quick. Um, not much happened. I had to go uh, deal with something real quick with my sister. So we're back to recording this. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, it might also be like another late upload. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens. see some of the big scenes, and they'll point out, Oh, look, that's a Charizard. Oh, look, that's a Jigglypuff. Oh, look, that's a Mewtwo. I recognize yeah, those Pokemon. Yeah, that is pretty much every single Pokemon fan when they watch this movie. They will just point out every single Pokemon that's there. As a Pokemon movie, it certainly did the Pokemon aspect really well. But... As a movie, when you look into the movie part, not so much. Of course, as this movie is called Detective Pikachu, the story has a mystery that the characters have to solve. I mean, to be the fair, as like a sort of like modern take on like a detective story with Pokemon characters in it, he could understand personally, I think it works man, fine. He finds out that the fate of his dad it definitely like it has you like think on your feet as like a mystery. Like if you're solving this with Pikachu and Tim. Answers to what actually happened to his dad, get Pikachu's memory back, and figure out why can Pikachu only talk to Tim. Oh, jeez. Why'd they have to show that lick a tongue it moment it again? A bit weird. Ugh. Not necessarily the worst detective story in a movie, but it does end up becoming predictable at times and doesn't actually answer all the questions to what happened. I understand that it has to mostly stay true to the game that it's based on in terms of the narrative. But it doesn't change that Again, it's like coming from a game that most people, like, knew about. When this movie, like, came out, I didn't know anything that about Detective Pikachu. I was like, where's Ash and Team Rocket and all of them? He's on a fight. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down. Well, Mr. Mime is dead. Another element that can take away some of the quality of this film is the human characters. Ah. As fun as the Pokemon can be, the I'm just trying to pop my neck because it's, uh... Uh, my body felt sore from the last few weeks working. ...substance to deliver onto the feature. Even the dynamic between Tim and Lucy end up feeling generic and kind of makes them look dumb. Like they yeah, just still smack him in the face with that floofy tail. Some could say that the relationship between the two is meant to be a bit of a throwback to the anime with Ash and his friends, but in a movie setting like this, they end up feeling more annoying than relatable. That and yeah, the the, the enough, love the, the love interest in this movie them, of course, really doesn't add a lot to the whole plot and everything. It's just it's, it's just kind of there. The but even them. then, they feel more like friends at this point, not really love interests. Yeah, adorable. yeah. Adorable. if you get what I mean by that, it's just. Again, uh, never really known for having the most compelling stories or the most complex characters that can bring out the best of actors. What is actually very interesting to note about this movie is that early reactions stated that there will be some people who will really enjoy it regardless of how they feel about Pokemon. That this is a movie that both fans and non-fans can actually go and enjoy. Now, if I can be very honest, after watching it and thinking about the perspective of how a fan and a non-fan would feel when watching this movie, I might have to disagree on that a little, and I would say that, yes, it really does depend on how much you like Pokemon. Pokemon Detective Pikachu is an interesting case that somehow works and doesn't at the same time. As a movie, it fails to stand on its own with weak writing that gives out a predictable and sometimes ludicrous story with generic and unappealing characters. But as a Pokemon experience, it's great thanks to the amazing visual effects, the references sprinkled everywhere, the show-stealing Pokemon that gives gonna keep showing that moment of Pikachu smacking Tim in the face with his tail. Of Ryan Reynolds. For my recommendation, the main reason to why anyone would want to see this is because of the Pokemon coming to life. So it does depend on how you feel about the franchise. If you don't care about it at all or not even like Pokemon, then you're not going to get much out of it and might come out giving it at most a 6 or a 5 out of 10. But if you're a Pokemon fan <laughs> like me, or just want to see some live-action Pokemon, <laughs> that little I moment, will get Pika, some Pika! Out of this. and that's why for my that got a real good chuckle out of me, actually. Out of ten, not a okay. Great movie, 
but I do not a bad score. That's fun. still like an average, like good Probably score. The best thing that I could say about this movie. And there you go, guys. That was my reaction to Animat's review on Detective Pikachu. He definitely gave it a good, like average score. With yeah, to be honest, my only problems I did have with the movie were that love interest character, because. Again, they just felt like friends throughout the whole movie. Not really a love interest, like, couple throughout the whole movie. But that's pretty much just, like, a minor complaint for me. Everything else I loved about the movie. I love seeing the Pokemon characters. I love the detective story aspect to it. If at first you could kind of pick out who the villain was, like, right from the beginning. Or halfway into the beginning. Like, something like that. Uh, anyway... Now as much to say it was definitely a fun video to watch. I got a little laugh out of that. If there's any other Animat videos you guys want me to react to, let me know in the comment section down below and I will try my best to get to it. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss a video. And with that, I will see all you awesome guys and gals later. Bye-bye!